Well, as always, when we do a ministry outreach, we try to visit somewhere of interest, which we hope you'll find interesting. And we're particularly interested in that second floor there because 1955, a young lady called Ruth Ellis arrived here with her boyfriend, a Desmond a Cousins. And she parked here because she wanted some words with her boyfriend who had rejected her. She was very angry, but she had brought a gun and she went to show him that she meant business. He came down the steps, but before she could get the gun and before she could do anything, he had driven off to the Magdala pub. So she had murder on her mind. She had a gun. She had a 0.38 Smith & Wesson, and there she was going to shoot David, her boyfriend. David Blakely jumped in the sports car and drove off to the Magdala pub. I always think that when you visit these scenes of the crime, people who live here have no idea of what happened perhaps 20, 30, 40 years ago. Quiet little street, quiet little street in London. See you at the Magdala pub. Well, we left you in Tanza Road. We have now driven round to the Magdala Tavern. We're still following the footstep of Ruth Ellis, who is armed and she's out looking for David Blakely. She wanted to have confrontation with him in Tanza Road. She's now come round here with uh, her boyfriend at the time. She has a .38 Smith & Wesson in her hand. He arrives here, comes out, and she walks up. She stands over the road here, just behind you, where that bush is there, and she calls across to him, David, David. He looks over, he, she fires the pistol, he runs along, dodges behind a car, she follows him and puts a bullet into him. Some say it hit him in the shoulder. Three of the bullets went wild. Now, if we look over here, we, now some say these are the original bullet holes, and some say they were put here by an unscrupulous landlady probably some 20 years ago. But they certainly look like possibly bullet holes that have been filled in. So by then she has followed him round to the car, probably here with his posters here. He's fallen over, he's been wounded. She stands over him and she puts three bullets, bang, 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 into him. She drops the gun. Crowds come rushing out the pub to see what's happened. She stands there. She's arrested by the police, she's taken to prison, she says, I am guilty, but rather confused, as if she didn't know what had happened. So the police are here quite quickly, she is arrested and taken off to Hampton Police Station. And that's where the shooting happened, this is where he was shot, just along here. And it's good to find the old pub here, you've still got the Magdala Tavern up there, and this is where it was all happening here. She was arrested, she was taken to the police station. Surprisingly, she had no legal representation. She was questioned by three police officers. The trial was quite quick. She was taken to the Old Bailey and naturally she was found guilty. Very great wave of anger of what was happening. A lot of people were on Ruth Ellis' side in this. The American author Raymond Chandler said it's disgusting what's happening here. The French even got involved by saying this was a crime of passion of what, what was happening. Maybe, maybe not. But she was taken to Holloway Prison and she was hanged in 1955 and she was the last English woman to be hanged in Holloway Prison by Albert Pierpoint. And this is the entrance where they would have come running out from. And I suspect all oh, this is the original facade of where it is and what happened. But back to the bullet holes. Are they the original bullet marks? One, two, three. We know the gun went like this. We know she was shaking with fear. Possibly, very possibly, maybe. I'm not sure and he would have laid just along there by that plank and she would have stood over there and fired. Ruth Ellis, 30 years old, from uh, North Wales, came to London, good time girl, hoping to find some of the great life in London, the streets of gold and so forth, and it all ended here. I think probably this pub will be knocked down in the next few years or they converted into a block of flats. Well, just to wrap up, a little PS, uh, I would say that the movement to abolish capital punishment was really given a kickstart with the execution of Ruth Ellis. Certainly in Parliament, Sidney Silverman brought in a private member's bill, and I think 1965, capital punishment was abolished in the country. Now, since I last did this, I've talked to one of the witnesses here who remembers this public house, who came here and worked here 40 years ago, and she tells me 
that the holes in the wall are the original holes in the wall. And she said, there was a film made about Ruth Ellis about 20 years ago. And she said, the camera crew who came here, and they actually filmed inside and outside the pub. So there we are, it's authenticated. Not Black & Decker drill, but real .38 Smith & Wesson bullets. I hope you've enjoyed it, a little bit of history of Hampstead. And as always, we're always delighted that you're with us, that you're with us, and we give you thanks for all your prayers and support. Blessings and Maranatha.